Hey everybody, Domingo with you today. We're going to be looking at WinX Video AI. So it's detected my hardware and it detected my graphics card and chipset and it shows a limited time offer here, but it also has what's called Image AI and Video AI. So we're going to go over these features here if my computer can handle it. So my computer is really old, so it may not work the best of its abilities. And it also has a screen recorder here, which I'm going to look at in the next few moments. The next video that you'll see after I record this will be the screen capture test with the WinX video recorder. So those are your general settings where you can set your hardware acceleration engine, you can set your language, videos, and then you can also check which settings work for you. You can set your encoding, your highest resolution, and then it also allows you to batch everything. You can also do a proxy server. You can set the recording quality to high, whatever format that you want here. You have to set your speakers and your audio device here. You can also adjust the audio levels. And then you can adjust these to whatever preferences you have. And you can also change the key bindings here so you don't have to worry about changing too much. And then the AI tools, I just leave it the way it is. So you can also clear your cache. So we're going to first start things off with the video AI. So it'll ask you to drag or load a video by pressing on the arrow. So we're just going to load that video, for example. And then it shows you the original on the left and the preview on the right. But you can also do like a little toggle here. And then you can also set it up to super resolution. So I don't have a really good GPU, so this may not work. And you may get this warning as well, but update your graphics drivers. That's all I can say. So my graphics drivers are really old. This laptop I'm using is really old. So it may not work. But I'm just letting you know that you can adjust your settings into your general settings and make sure everything works properly. Make sure that your export settings work well and that you set the scale. You can also enhance and you just press run. And then it'll initialize and then it'll start going through here. But sometimes it won't work. I'm just using the CPU processing. So once it's done, it'll open the output folder or you can choose to shut down the computer when the job is completed. But I've had several issues trying to export this file before because, like I said, my GPU and CPU are very, very old. So this may or may not work properly. Now, once I tried that, it then gave me a message and then it just closed the window. It didn't do it. So that means my GPU or CPU is not powerful enough to do this stuff yet. And then I tried running it several times. I ran it at least a few times so that I could get a good base of it, but it just didn't work. I always got the same thing. It didn't go analyzing or anything like that. It just said model is initializing. And then it just closed the window and it didn't let me export the file. So that's what I mean about these problems that it faces. So that's the thing. If you don't have a good computer, this may not work for you. Like my computer's decent, but it's not in the sense a, hall, a, a high powerful performance machine. It's not like that anymore. Uh, because my computer is like seven years old. You see, it just closed on me again. But if you have a really powerful desktop or a laptop computer that can process things properly, that's more for you. So like, as you can see, it, it didn't process it properly. So we're going to just close that. And then we're just going to go into the image AI. But the AI can like automatically adjust it. You can adjust the super resolution. You can scale the video and enhance it and it'll make it really good. But my GPU, like I said, is not good enough. So we're going to go into the image and then we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to select the image and then it's going to process the image here and then it'll allow us to scale it properly. So I might have better luck with the imaging. So you make sure your CPU is selected, your type is selected, you're switching the model. Oh, we can just close out of that. I'm not worried about that. That just tells you to update your driver. So my picture just loaded and it gives you a preview on the original and the AI enhancement and it sets the resolution. And then you can also set your format to like PNG and then you can scale it and then it starts. So it at least gave me a little bit of a progress bar here, 45%, but it's still using the CPU. It's not using my graphics card hardware to process that, which I find it quite strange because I've set the program to run with my default graphics card. I have an NVIDIA GeForce 750M. It's a really old graphics card on this laptop. Yes, I get it, but it should at least still do something. I probably have to set a compatibility for it. 
because if you have Windows 10 and you're running this program, it may need to have compatibility issues set here so that you can run this properly. I'll preview the screen recording function on the WinX video in the next few moments here. So, but I'm just showing you what it's like here. And this is just my honest review about it. My GPU is not good for it. It's an old GPU. It didn't process. All I'm showing you is just how it works. Now, I know you're going to critique me saying, well, this isn't a real review, but I tried. I tried to do this and it shut me down. Like it closed, it didn't convert everything properly, but at least I showed you how to do it. So if you have a great machine, and I'm assuming every everybody out there does, shh, quiet, and I'm assuming everybody does, you can just get the results better than I did here. Like you see here, it's just lagging. I sped up the video just for this purpose because it took a half an hour just to get things done. And I condensed this video down to at least 10 minutes or so. So it's not working. As you can see, it's stuck on here. I left it for a little bit because it just wasn't able to run properly. So this is what I mean. If your computer is not good enough, this won't work. So we're just going to close out of that and stop everything because it's just not working for me. So we're just gonna try another thing again here where it exports the video. We're gonna try video again here. I've set different settings here and then run. But then it shows analyzing and then it shows the NVIDIA and the CPU here. So it shows the analysis bar on the top here. I guess I had to try a lower quality video. I have no idea. But it's analyzing the video right now here. And then once it analyzes it properly, the please wait bar will show that it's trying to convert something. So that's what's going on. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to wait it out and see. But I'll also speed up this video in case it gets too slow. So we're, I actually sped it up enough here. So I'm just telling you that my computer is a Dell laptop. It's a Dell Inspiron 7525. And it wasn't able to do this. It wasn't able to process everything properly because my CPU is not enough to handle instructions like that. I know I'm repeating myself, but this is just the emphasis and I'm just showing you what it can do. It can do really cool things. It can do something that a lot of people want to enhance their videos with, and I guess that's what everybody wants. But for my computer, it, it wasn't successful. So as you can see, it's almost at 100% here for its analysis. And then once it gets to that point, then it'll go, please wait. And then this is where it usually closes. So once, yeah, it just closed. So it, it did the analysis, but it didn't do everything else. So that's the problem that I had before. So now the next clip that you're going to see is screen recording with the WinX software. So this is the recording of the screen with the WinX Video AI software here. It's picking up my audio fine and it picks up the screen okay here. So now we're gonna try it with the webcam layout. So this is the webcam version of the screen recording software here. So it's using my webcam and my microphone just to record everything now. So this is the second clip. So here it's recording the webcam while I'm also recording the screen here. So it may not show properly depending on how it's set up, but this is just a test of the recording software. So this actually comes with recording software, which is really cool. So you press Control, Alt, Shift, R to cancel the recording. And then finally here, it shows the webcam on the, little, on the corner there. You can resize everything before you can record it. So if you're going to do like gameplays or reviews, then this is something that you can use too. And it just depends on how you want to use it. So there you go with this. So four clips.